Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm drawing Nightmare Foxy. So it's October, which means spooky month, it means Halloween, it means, I don't know, other spooky stuff. It means the month of spooks. And so I'm gonna draw Halloween spooky type pictures this whole month, starting with this picture. And bear with me on this one. This was just a whole new experience for me. I've never really drawn anything like this before from the like way I drew it to the fact that it's an animatronic, which I've never drawn before. So it probably isn't a great picture, but I think in the end it turned out pretty cool. Like I said, learning process, it's not amazing, but I don't completely hate it. You'll also notice that the video is going pretty fast, and that's because I had to speed it up quite a bit. There's a lot here, and I show you pretty much the entire process. Except for a few parts that kind of get skipped, there's this one part near the end where like a decent chunk gets skipped, and I don't know what happened there, I just like lost some footage. So sorry about that. My idea for this picture is the fact that, in my opinion, Nightmare Foxy is one of the coolest and creepiest of the characters. Though I think he would have been cooler if he was a little bit more animalistic and less humanoid. Like if he was on all fours and stuff, which is kind of what I did here. I wasn't directly copying what he looked like, I was kind of going based off of that and then kind of what an actual fox looks like to make like, I don't know, him look cooler or whatever, I don't know what I'm saying. And the idea for the pose is obviously you know, him being in your closet, and I have him like standing on his hind legs, and his back kind of like arches back to in a way to where like you can't really tell that that's what's happening because he's in front view, but like it is. <laughs> that's why it looks kind of weird. That's what I was trying to do. I don't. I don't really know. I feel like this picture turned out kind of weird in some ways, but yeah. I also added like the little plushie of him because I figured, because my idea for the picture was kind of like, you were like, oh, a little stuffed animal, and then you like look up and you see like this monster. <laughs> like I said though, this whole picture was like a learning experience or it was pretty experimental, so don't come after me if you're like a professional at drawing ca these characters because I did not know what I was doing. Though I did find it quite fun to draw, I think it I could have done better, like I don't love the pose, but it was kind of a weird angle or something, I don't know. And if you enjoyed this picture and want to see me draw more FNAF related things, I kind of want to draw the characters as humans, like I did with the security breach characters. Or if you maybe want to see me try and do something more like this. So yeah, if you want to see more FNAF related content, let me know, I'd be willing to do that. I wouldn't personally consider myself a fan of these games, but I do think that it's fun to watch people play them and theorize about the lore. That's actually how I first like learned about the game, was just by watching game theories and I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting.
here is the finished picture. I hope it looks okay. I hope you like it. I hope you think it's creepy-ish. If you have any ideas for other things you'd like to see me draw, let me know. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. I also like Grim Foxy, which is basically Nightmare Foxy, but on fire.